Leah Freeman is going to explain this forecast, and uh, you really have to explain it because it is uh, we're in the perfect. 80s and it's August. It's crazy. It's perfect. No, yeah, we have not seen weather like this in about two months. The last time we saw the 80s was June 13th, so almost exactly two months ago. 89 for our high today, and the normal this time of year, 96. So we were well below, below that, and it was comfortable today. I can't believe we stayed under the 90s. It's been such a long time since we've really seen weather like this. We're down seven degrees in Bakersfield right now, five to Hatchby, two in Mojave. So most of the area is seeing a lot of bit of cool or a bit of cooling today. We're really not talking about many 90s out there. China Lake and Ridgecrest in the mid 90s, but majority of the South Valley is sitting into the lower 80s to the upper 80s. 87 in Arvin, 82 at the base of the Grapevine. We're at 60 right now in Pine Mountain Club. Lower 70s for Tehachapi and 81 right now for Lake Isabella. So not too bad out there. Those winds continuing to push in from the northwest. That's why we're seeing a lot of this cooling with some stronger gusts off towards the southeastern portion of our county. So here's the setup here. We have this trough that trough that moved through dropped a cold front, so we're not talking about any rain, just the cooling behind that the cooler air, but we do have high pressure sitting right in the eastern Pacific, and that guy is going to continue to warm us back up into the weekend as it continues to shift a little closer to the west coast. So one more day with these cooler temperatures before we start really warming back up 71 by the time you're heading to school tomorrow. You might even want to pack the kids with a light jacket, but by the lunch hour they can get rid of it. You don't need it by that time. 90 degrees by the time you're picking those kids up, so it's still warm. You still want to maybe pack them with some sunscreen out there, plenty of water, but at least we're seeing much more cooling from what we've been talking about. We could be a lot warmer for the first day of school. Moderate air quality as well for tomorrow, and uh, there's that warm-up I'm talking about. By Thursday, we'll be in the upper 90s, so that's near normal, and then back to the 100s. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, at least they're lower 100s, though. Not too bad, and then we'll get a little bit more cooling as we head into the beginning of next week, so perfect time for the eclipse. Clear skies all across the board here, and then in terms of the Kern River Valley, upper 80s tomorrow, back to the lower 90s for uh, the start of our weekend. Tatchby, Fraser Park will climb up through the 70s, and they'll be back to the 80s as well. A little bit breezier by the beginning of next week, but at least more cooling yeah. is in our forecast. So unusual. We'll you, take it. And you said what? Upper 60s tomorrow morning too? Yeah. When you head to school, lower yeah. 70s. Yeah. Even light jacket. <laughs> That's weird to say. Yeah. Right, thanks for that. In August. All right. We'll just.